Hello everyone, freelance teacher Doug Morola coming at you again from the air conditioned studios. Feels good, that cool air, seeing that it's 92 degrees outside here in the Bronx. I'm in the Little Italy section of the Bronx. I got some stuff to get, fresh ravioli. I know you wish you were coming over later to have some of my fresh cuisine, but oh well. Um... Alex Jones and InfoWars banned all within 12 hours from Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and iTunes. Uh, It turns out as well that, uh, according to Paul Joseph Watson, that Jones got banned. He had his account at LinkedIn (laughs) eliminated as well, which is funny because according to Um, Paul Joseph Watson, um, Jones had never put any content on LinkedIn ever, Uh, but the account was deleted anyway. So this means many things. Uh, One of them is that there was a conspiracy, which is supremely ironic because people label Jones as a conspiracy theorist and everybody knows that there could never be a conspiracy. I mean, that's just not possible. (laughs) You can't have a conspiracy, right? Somebody would talk. People never work together to get what they want accomplished. Oh, never would there be any kind of conspiracy. Yet, a mega trillion dollar net worth company like Apple, working with YouTube, which is Google, Twitter, Jack Dorsey, you get my drift, right? All within 12 hours, LinkedIn, for Christ's sake. Um, all do the same thing to the same person on the same day. So the irony is out of control because you're told, and that's what irony is, when what you expect to happen, the opposite happens. So you expect, well, that we, well, and you expect because here's what you've been taught. This is why you expect it. Because you've been taught that nobody would ever... I mean, a conspiracy? That's just some wacky conspiracy theory. And only thumb-sucking, dumpster-diving, beta male, suck-ass weirdos with tinfoil hats in their mom's basement, only those people believe that any of those conspiracies could ever happen. No right-minded person thinks that. Stop it. You must be the dumbest person alive if you still buy that kind of story. So my point is, it happened, okay? And it's funny because in the old days, and I'm just talking off the top of my head here, so I have to forgive my quasi rants because I don't have notes, there's no set plan, but interestingly enough, just analyzing this while driving, in the old days, this would have made me upset. I can't believe the New World Order is on the march. They've got the boot on the throat. They're coming to get you. They want one world government. They want to quash dissenting voices. And I guess when you are my age and you've been reading and studying and speaking on these things all these years, one of two things, either I'm desensitized to it and it should bother me or, and I don't think, I think the second one that I'm about to say is the case. I, I pretty much saw this happening. Uh, there's a fantastic dark stream by a guy called Vox Day, and he's a he's a he's a uh, he's he's got he's got more writing skill than I have. He has he has a, a, a he's published more books than I have, and he does more stuff in in the arts and in and, and writing and publishing than I do. But um, he's very bright, and he, you know, I was listening to this, and I was like, wow, I, these are things that I was thinking on a much smaller scale as well in that I was expecting this. It was pretty much baked into the cake that the powers that be, once Google bought YouTube, Twitter becomes the huge, gigantic, megalith um, uh, uh, entity that it is. You know, it's branded as one of the main social media outlets. Um, LifeLog was a CIA put your stuff on the internet and talk to your friends type thing, that project was shuttered as soon as Facebook 
got big. Weird coincidence there. That too is a conspiracy theory, by the way. Look up LifeLog and Facebook and CIA and see what comes up. So, you know, I'm thinking all of these deep state, new world order, if you will, giganto, super controlled um, entities, well, what are they eventually going to do? Because the way I thought of it back then, in 07 to about 2014, 2013, was I kept thinking, I'm like, they can't shut down the internet because too much information was getting out there. You know, talk about Alex Jones. Alex Jones is nothing compared to a guy who was killed in November 01, a guy named Bill Cooper, who says the same things that Vox Day says. He said, if you're a Christian, you better look out. They're coming after you. They hate you. And that's more true than ever. And Cooper was saying this in the 1990s. So I remember thinking, well, okay, Cooper's gone and a lot of the old guys are gone. You know, Peter Schiff's father, Irwin Schiff, you talk about the best case against the income tax, Irwin Schiff was your guy. You know, these guys are gone now, but there's still a lot of information out there flying around. They can't seem to shut down the internet. For a while, this internet kill switch idea was floated around, and I'm sure it was floated out there on purpose just to see the backlash. And um, I was like, they can't do that, right? You have online betting. You have the online porno industry apparently is so huge that shutting down the internet, there'd be riots in the streets. I think the earth would blow up because the modern human couldn't get his porno. Uh, to show you how far things are, have fallen and how degenerate the human race has become. Um, I'm showing my age when I say stuff like that. So I kept wondering, what are they going to do? Can't, can't really shut down the internet. And you start playing whack-a-mole if you shut down sites. Infowars.com is still up. You can go to the Infowars.com site right now, because I just did. And you can go on their page. You can't go to their YouTube page because it doesn't exist. You can't go to their Facebook page. It doesn't exist. You can't even tag them on Twitter. Won't load. So what the powers that be, the deep state, the top of the pyramid, what they, the new world order, what they've decided to do is let people like Jones, and he's only the first big name. There will be others. Um, who got wiped off of the map in major um, outlets, social media outlets, or YouTube, which is a a monstrously huge, giganto site. So, and, you know, with Steve Jobs dying six, seven years ago, you know, the integrity that Apple had um, uh, seems to be gone. Not that Jobs was some kind of paragon, but he was very, he was an old school guy, very keyed on security, very secure in knowledge that the Apple user had enough skill and and demanded enough respect that that person could kind of police his or her own um, uh, media intake. So that seems to be all gone. Apple seems to have totally flown the coop. But... um, And and you could tell when the black woman who was the diversity officer got fired... She said a room of all white men could be very diverse. There could be lots of different people from different places with different backgrounds. And she got fired for that. I want you to think about that carefully. A black woman, diversity officer, got fired for saying that a bunch of, a group of white males could actually be diverse. Now, she, of course, was correct. And then she got shit canned and um, they replaced her with a white female. That's how far Apple has fallen. (laughs) So... Anyway, so what does this mean? What it means is, my th- one of my theories is, the internet will actually go backwards in habit. And what I mean by that is, the early internet, you went to websites. Uh, for a long time, your favorites list or bookmarks on your browser was the do-all, end-all. There are ways, I, I, would, I doubt... Ask someone 18, how do you save your favorites in your browser if you get a new computer? And you open up the browser, there are no favorites there because it's brand new. Or you wipe the browser clean. Or, or you, put it, you install a new browser. How do you transfer favorites? I doubt an 18-year-old knows how to do it. I'd be shocked. 
And that used to be a big thing. Why? Because you went to your favorite websites. You didn't necessarily go to YouTube. You did after 08, 09, 07 maybe. YouTube was a big thing. Remember, YouTube had a 15-minute limit for a long time. 10, 15-minute limit. You'd have uh, speeches that would be chunked into four, five, six, seven, eight pieces because they could only do 10 minutes at a time. Remember those days? I do. And my point was... You know, you didn't really, people hated that. So they'd go to the website and they'd read the transcript or they'd have real player or you'd, watch, you'd use Winamp to listen to music or, or a host of other things. You went to the places that you wanted because there wasn't a catch-all venue like YouTube, like Facebook. So I think there's going to be two things I want to end with. And one is the, well, three. One is I kind of saw this coming. So I have to pat myself on the back for that. Uh, and it's just, it baffles me. It doesn't, it doesn't, I have to go to the bank. I got to run some errands. The fact that Jones got wiped, it, it should bother me, but it doesn't as much as it should. Not because of anything against Jones. Uh, people do what they're going to do. And he's built himself a small empire. Nothing against Jones at all. But um, uh, people, the, the, the things that will change are the internet going to go backwards in the sense that you will have to go to the site, the person, the page that you want to. You won't go, well, let's go to YouTube and search the name. Mm, I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. Eventually, YouTube and the other social justice warrior converged hellholes will purge the people who are creating interesting conversation, like Jones, like other conservative libertarians, identitarians, communitarians, libertarians, those people are going to be erased. And so people are, I'm, I'm not going to, if I can't follow Ron Paul or um, Michael Tracy or Ann Coulter or Chris Hedges or Black Agenda Report, if I can't follow them on YouTube, I'm not going to YouTube. It's not going to happen. So... People will go to their favorite pages. That's one thing. And the other one is you're going to start to see, I think, the finally, and this is where Vox Day again was right, because he told people five years ago, you better build your own platforms. That's where the freelanceteacher.com comes from. I wanted my own website because I overstated my own importance back then in 2012, whatever it was thinking that my views were so unorthodox because I was getting called all kinds of names that I'd better have my own place because I'm going to get banned or wiped or whatever. And I think it's time now that that becomes paramount. I think you're going to see a fracturing, as you always do, when things get too big and too cumbersome and too bloated. <laughs> Explosion. British Empire, Microsoft... YouTube, I think you're going to see a fracturing of these things. Maybe it will be BitChute. I don't know. Minds.com. I have an account at Minds.com. I kind of like it. Um, I think you're going to... And other platforms... A, a platform that I can't predict will get built and within five years at the most will be huge. I don't know what it'll be and I hope it'll be a free speech venue. So... I think this uh, is a sea change. I think this is a real big thing that happened with um, Infowars getting getting banned. And and it's the funny thing is it, it coincides with this woman getting hired at the New York Times, Sarah Jong, the Korean woman who said all kinds of talked all kind of trash about white guys. You know that's that person having a Twitter account and being hired at the New York Times. That's okay. That's so totally okay. But Alex Jones is a hate monger weirdo and he needs to not be shamed. No, he needs to be censored and erased. So it's the Streisand effect, isn't it? People are now going to see all of this stuff. And now it's going to be even the normies, even the card carrying, flag waving, bud drinking Americans are like finally maybe shaken out of their slumber. Maybe. And they'll stand up and say, what's going on here? Well, time for you to build something. Time for you to create your own area, your own venue, your own thing. And get it out there. Start talking. Start writing. Start making videos. Say what you think. 
That's your homework. Uh, and it's due in early September.